I'm looking forward to getting into a song with you today and uh, eating some delicious banana pancakes. John wrote us a comment asking, are you trying to stay with easy three or four chord songs or would you consider some intermediate music as well? He says that he's tried to learn Jack Johnson's banana pancakes a few times, uh, but the intro, he says, is easy enough but he can't seem to learn the song itself. All right, John, well, mate, let's get into it for you today, and not just for you, uh, hopefully for you as well. Now, there's, there's basically four parts to play in this song. So that's the thing with songs, it's generally like putting together a jigsaw puzzle. puzzle. You learn the pieces, then you put them together in order. So for this song, we're gonna go through those sections. Uh, we're gonna keep it simple. I want you to be playing this song sooner rather than later. Okay, so the intro starts off basically here on fret seven of the E string. What I want you to do is use your third finger. And we go like this between the E and the A string. Open and five. So seven, five, seven, five, three. You might notice I've used different fingers here. Find what's comfortable for you. That's the first little section. If you want to take it that extra notch, we're going to slide into that seventh fret, that starting note. We're just going to move that third finger down to fret five. We pluck once, keep the pressure on the string, slide it. Up to fret seven and get straight into that riff. Then we do an A minor chord. No, we're not doing that. We're doing this fret five. I want you to slap a finger across the three top strings here. If you get excited, the fourth string as well. That'll make it an A minor seven. Thumb behind the neck, like pressing down so you get a nice flat finger, knuckle kind of flat. Three strings is fine. It's gonna sound great. How do you go there? All right? Put that together. That's the first bit. Do a little mute. Riff, plug, mute. There's the A minor chord. Okay, we do the same riff. Land on the third fret this time. We're gonna do another triad like we did for the A minor. Here we're gonna flatten three, three, and four. This is meant to be a G7. We're gonna do this so it's, so it's easier to play. And just strum the top three strings. If you get that one in there, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Sounds good, right? Put it together. Drum that chord, flat the finger across those two there. Then what we do is we go into the same initial thing again with this touch different, always the slide. Up to five, seven, five, seven. Oh, five, okay. again. Exactly same. All right. There's the intro. Let's do it all together. Three, three. The extra note. There's the intro. Let's go into the verse. The verse is basically four chords. We're gonna be doing a G, a D, an A minor, and a C. But again, I wanna keep it simple for us. Let's outline it first of all with the root notes. G, D, A minor, C. We're just playing the notes G, D, A, C, right? 
we're getting a sense of the chord progression already, right? Except for that wrong note. I want us to play it with shell chords. We're gonna play the seventh chords. Chord diagrams are on the screen for you, right? Root note, G. Those three fingers, those three strings. Fret three on the E, fret three on the D, fret four on the G. Let your finger mute this A string. Don't really wanna hear them, doesn't matter so much. Try and strum just on the lower strings. G. Hit the root note first, hit the low E string. Boom, check. That's your G7. Go up to the D, fret five with your second finger. Make a little triangle. Fret five on the A. Fret four on the D. Fret four on the G. Now, I let this finger tip mute the E string, all my thumb come across. We wanna hear that D as the lowest note, the fifth fret. I even let this finger kinda of lightly touch the B string. Muting strings, it's, a, it's, it's an art. So we got Okay, so we got G, D, A minor, third, uh, second finger on the fifth fret, back to the low E, then this finger, slap it across, at least these two strings here. The D and the G strings, all on fret five. Same sort of rhythm, plucking, strumming. G, D7, A minor 7, C7. Okay, what we're doing for the C7 is fret 3, exactly what we did for the D7, two frets lower. Fifth fret is D, third fret is C. That chord shape is what we call a shell chord of a seventh chord. So it's a C7. Okay, let's do it four times in a row. One, two, three, four. There's the verse. Okay, so the chorus comes straight in after that um, verse chord progression. You've just done the G7, D7, A minor 7, C. That's the first bar of the chorus. Come back to that, slap your finger across at A minor on the fifth fret. One, two, three, four. To do, straight into that riff from the intro. Onto the G. A. G. Now we've done this before, so we're not gonna spend too long on that. At the end of the chorus, we come back in on that riff, land on the G. G. D7, right at the end, just two beats at the end. Again. So that takes us back to the verse. Same thing again, right? G, D7, A minus A. Flow through that, same as before, back into the chorus. Same as before. Okay, so when we get to the end of chorus number two, we kind of just stick to the chords. We, we, we take away the, the riff. We take away the riff. We just play the chords through it, okay? So what we do, we kind of come out of the riff. G, A minor. G. 
That will take us into the bridge section. Let's just have a quick look at that strumming. I like to, again, A minor. What I'm doing is down, mute, up, up, down. Up, up, down. When I go down, I mute. Down, mute, up, up, mute, up, up, mute, up, up, mute. Down, mute, up, up, mute, up, up, mute, up, up, mute. Down, mute, up, up, mute, up, up, mute, up. Bridge. Now we're going to keep these chord shapes again nice and simple. We're working with triads. Uh, slapping your finger across the three bottom strings for your A minor. Two bars of that. One, two, one, two, three, four, D. We go to a D chord. We're going to do the same thing. Come up to the seventh fret, but just slap your fingers across the B, G and D string. It's a D major. So you've done a simple A minor. D major. Same strumming. One, two, three, four. One, two, two bars. A minor. D. Okay, so, so that's the start of the bridge. A minor for two bars. D for two bars. A minor for two bars. D for two bars. Then we're going to go to a B minor. Just like we did A minor down here on the 5th fret. 2 frets higher. A to a B. It's a B minor. We're going to do that for 2 bars. A 1, 2, 3, 4. E minor. I think since we're here, just slap these fingers down here. So you get this little 9, 8, 7. Again, we're doing that so we don't have to go the full bar chord. This is good. The song has those higher notes anyway. And one bar of that, by the way. One, two, three, four. One, two, down to a C. Fifth fret, same like the D on the B, G and D strings. We just flatten them there. C for one measure, one, two, three, four, G. Back to that thing here, that triad we did at the start of the song in the intro and the chorus. G, two, three, four, D7. Shell chord, one, two, three, four, G, three, four, one, two, D7, last two measures. So let's go through that entire bridge section Nice and slowly together, top to bottom. Two, three, four, A minor. One, two, three, D. Two, three, four, one, two, back to A minor. Two, three, four, one, two, D. A minor, two. One, B minor, same fret. So that takes us to the end of the bridge section, which then just takes you back to the verse. Verse three, same thing you did before for verse one and verse two. So I'm not going to waste your time and mine going through that. Then you go through into the chorus. Same again for the other two choruses. No worries. When you get to the end of that, you just basically keep going with the, um, with the A minor and the G. So it's like G. A minor G This is like the outro A minor or the coda and finish on the G And you know, there's the song. There's all the components. There's all the jigsaw puzzle pieces for you to put together. Listen to the song 
write down the structure intro verse chorus verse chorus bridge verse chorus outro simple as that and Tell me in the comments below how you are going with the song. Subscribe to the channel, write some song ideas that you want me to go through with you, and uh, hit the thumbs up button, share it with your friends. This is Glenn at Guitar Practice Hub. Catch you next time.